Hi, I'm Thomas. I'm Kelly. We have a 2001 International bus. We've been living in it for... Seven months now, and we've yep. just been traveling around, and uh, life is good. Yeah. Welcome to our living room, kitchen, dining area. Um, this couch here, it will pull out into a twin bed. Um, and then that chair right there is where I sit when Thomas is driving. Um, and we made all these cushions. We bought the foam from Foam Factory and bought the fabric and did all yeah, that. It's just like velcroed together so we can yeah. wash the covers if we need to. Yeah. And it's nice because like you can section like pull the things out. So like we'll use it just like as a big pallet and just chill there and it just like it's not big it's like a twin size bed I think but like if you pulled it out then it could just like all be a bed area there so it's versatile we like it. And then this will fold I can show you guys that um, this will like fold down just to add some more space like that and this folds. So we yeah. can put it under here. Those chairs are nice to have. Yeah. We built our own screens too, which have been, we're really glad we did that. Just for bugs and we still get a lot of breeze in and it was really easy to do. Yeah. So we always recommend that for people. 1960s, it's a holiday, propane. Yeah. We just, we didn't even like test it out before we put it in there. Like we cut our countertops, we like <laughs> went all in and I was like, oh yeah. man, maybe we should have tested it first. but. It worked. Yep. <laughs> and then the water heater, and we haven't really used our regular heater yet. Yeah. Our propane usage is minimal. I think we went a f few months yeah. without having to fill, like, and we just have, like, a 20-pound bottle underneath the bus. And we, I mean, we boil our water every morning for coffee. We cook two to three meals on that every Yeah, day. we're not really trying to conserve with our propane. No. It's just, and it's, it not a, a it's not that expensive. It's, like... If you exchange 15, 20 bucks yeah. for every few months, that's way less than our electricity bills and mm -hmm. stuff when we were living in a townhouse. So. Yeah. And this was actually like a double bathroom vanity um, that we repurposed from Habitat for Humanity. Heavy duty magnets in there, so yeah. nothing slides out when we're taking turns and stuff on the road. And we didn't do the overhead cabinets because we didn't want like the space to be uh, feel any smaller and then we added like our food storage over here so yeah and they pull all the way out so we have like tons of food storage we really like those and then we secured those with magnets too yeah. um this is one of our favorite things in the bus <laughs> yeah definitely a unique 12 volt fridge it's like nine cubic feet fridge freezer we needed yeah. the freezer we love this thing and it's super efficient with our solar so I feel like there's plenty of storage in here for yeah. the kitchen. We have like all our pots and pans, a crock pot, a blender, a big blender. Like we have yeah. everything we would need. undergraduate degree and then we got like our master's degree for our jobs and then it was like we worked and it's like wow like how can you like continuously do like 40 hour work weeks for like 40 years or something or more you know yeah and then like that doesn't it didn't really seem like the life we wanted to live so it was yeah. like okay how can we do something different yeah. um, and then it was like we watched uh, like a documentary and it yeah. was like, 
oh, well, we could do that. And it was like a joke, like, yeah, we yeah. could do that. And I was like, how much does a bus cost? I was like, oh, we have money for that. It's like, looked up how to build a bus, and I was like, oh, you just throw wood up on it and a bed in there. It's like, that's easy. <laughs> yeah. It's not that easy, but. <laughs> it, it was initially, like, we're just going to throw a bus in there, and then, you know, you start doing it, and you love it, and you realize it's going to be your home for however long. So we put more work into it. Found a glass door again, like on Facebook Marketplace, and then the wheel well is under, is pretty much where that bench is, so kind of since that curve comes down on the ceiling so much, it's nice to have a place to to sit to shower. But I think I stand up anyway, most of yeah. the time, because yeah. it's like really cold most of the time, <laughs> that tile. <laughs> so I'm standing anyway, but yeah. it was kind of hard to figure out what to do with the wheel well space, and then we just put uh, cedar on the ceiling, and then we have those little eyelets up there for hanging wetsuits and uh, bathing, suits. bathing suits. It just keeps it out of like your wet stuff out of the living space. If we were to build a shower again in a bus, we would just do cedar or something more simple than the tile. We like the look of the tile, but... It'd just be easier. Yeah. Quicker. So we just have our bathroom across from the shower. We really wanted like a separate space for those. Uh, built a composting toilet for like... 50 bucks is way cheaper than a nature's head. Um, peel and stick wallpaper. It's small, it was built for us. Like yeah. if you have long legs, you're probably not able to sit down in there. But yeah. again, it's Sorry. custom for us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Our first month, I remember like, holy moly, like everyone waves and like gives you thumbs up or peace signs or like, everyone's really supportive on the road. So yeah. we haven't run into any negative like experiences or anything. On-demand propane water heater. We store our catalytic heater back there. Um, it's just pretty much a utility closet. It's nice to keep that stuff yeah. accessible. Um, the battery monitor, so we know what we're charging and stuff at our inverter remote. We can just, those interfaces are nice to have right in the bus instead of having to go like to the back of the bus where like our electrical equipment's at. So yeah. it's handy. Across from our Utility closet is just more clothes storage. We have our hanging clothes. We ended up building um, like these doors, like Plexi just plexiglass glass. sandwiched between some lumber. And it was easy. We were going to like frost them out, but then we just put them up. I was like, oh, it looks good. So we'll yeah. roll with it. <laughs> that was like everything in the bus. It was like we had so many big plans like to finish things off, like paint the ceiling or, you yeah. know, frost this stuff. I had doors here, and then it's like you get going in it, and it's like. Looks good. This is like, yeah, we're not doing it for somebody else. If it's appealing to your own eye, like just yeah. leave it. Um, and then we have a queen bed in the bedroom. So, and then that where the W is, is actually a door to the garage. Was it like two or three feet? Yeah, we got three uh, feet behind that back wall for extra storage <laughs> and electrical components. We'd like to read, so yeah. the bookshelves were a must. Yeah, a necessity. We kept all of our windows, so we've gotten some really awesome morning views. This bed lifts up. It's on those gas struts because it, it's heavy. It gets heavy quick with the big old mm -hmm. mattress on there. Water, 100 gallons. Yep. That fits lengthwise there. And then we have the drawer and then just some extra storage there. And like the rest of our plumbing, uh, like our pump and filter and things like that are all out of sight underneath the bed. And one of the things like a lot of people don't see is we have four drawers on both sides. So we have a lot of clothes. <laughs> and the bed serves as like oh, our yeah. ladder to the roof deck. We didn't want an outside ladder. Um, so we just hop on up and walk across the roof. Some people 
just really struggle with changing their perspective of like experience over things, you know, like sometimes society will just be like, you want the biggest house and car and all this stuff and instead of, we've always valued experiences, but um, I think switching that perspective and mindset is really hard for people to understand why we're doing this. We didn't want to tow a car or anything, so we, it was like a last minute purchase. We're like, let's get a motorcycle because that's going to be so easy to get around and neither of us had driven a motorcycle or anything before, so it was kind of like, all right, we're going to buy a motorcycle, we're going to learn to ride it, we're going to get licensed all in like a week and a half yep. time and thankfully in Arkansas it's too easy to <laughs> be able to get your motorcycles licensed and pass the test. With national parks and stuff though, it's nice because a lot, or even just more remote areas, like there's size restrictions on the roads and we can't fit or we don't feel comfortable going in those places. So yep. we hop on this. We, yeah, Ava, the dog, even has a little backpack that yeah. <laughs> she goes on. So this area we just call our garage. Um, yeah, so the motorcycle usually is fitting right on the hitch back here. So like you can see the door, that's like that bedroom back door. So like when the motorcycle's on, it's easy to get in here. We have all of like our electrical equipment pretty much in the back here. Um, 600 watts of solar on the roof. Like having the solar uh, is a game changer for the lifestyle we want to li like live. We don't want to always be going like campground to campground or having to rely on plugging in everywhere. So um, with the amount of batteries we have and the uh, charging we've had from our solar we haven't needed to be plugged in ever um, we're always getting a full charge it seems uh, we went with the magnesign 2001 inverter it's enough to run like a microwave and like a hair straightener and uh, blender and stuff so um, it's good that's expensive though but I, I feel like it's important that you buy quality equipment for your electrical stuff Luckily, my dad's an electrical engineer, and he helped, like, figure out all this stuff. Otherwise, I don't know if I could have done it, <laughs> done it safely, <laughs> or make it work. <laughs> if we need to, like, get to our other storage back here, like, we have our water hose, our backpacking equipment, inflatable kayak and stuff, so it keeps your tools and stuff out of your main living area. Um, yeah, and just all that electrical equipment. I just couldn't think when we were building like where I was going to put all that stuff. So I was like, I'll just, we have so much room, I'm just going to designate three feet in the back for it. I think we like initially thought a year, um, but we're at seven months and I don't think we have any intention of stopping anytime soon. So um, as long as we can keep finding work and everything, I think we're gonna keep doing it. You know, it's doable like this life. If you really want it, you can make it happen. Yeah, that's the thing. Like if you want to make something happen, you can. And I think like working and having money makes it easier. It made, yeah. it, it made it a lot easier for us to like have the confidence that it was going to work out because you have that insurance net behind you but yeah. Um, yeah it's like if you want something to happen just you have to make actions to make it happen. Yeah. You can find us on Instagram at Roaming Wilson's. Well, thanks for uh, yeah. showing our home. Yes, thank you guys very much. <laughs>